Hello everyone. Um, I didn't have time to get to the studio, but I wanted to get you this update here. And I wanted to add a bumper to Kyle's video, <clears throat> which is huge update coming in the next 48 hours, I'll say. Okay. But it's 1126. <laughs> so, um, but I wanted to upload this because Kyle sent me this video of how our new setup triggers will work. So they will work when you use browser automation or your browser recordings, you have the setup trigger up in the upper right hand side. Um, you can set up and manage that trigger. And before you had just Google Sheets, um, uh, looping, schedule, and webhook. But now in addition to those, you will have over a hundred apps to choose from that you can start triggering your recordings, right? Or your browser recordings right from that screen. So that is cool. Um, that's coming in the next couple days. This is essentially the same thing as triggering in the API app based method. Um, you can, you know, you can do the browser recording at the top and then the API base, which is just the Zapier clone. Uh, this is essentially taking all of those triggers and moving it to your, to be able to trigger your browser automations, um, like you normally would. So you can set up and manage them there. So you can boom, grab them from those 120 or so apps, 100, 100 apps or so, and we'll keep adding more. And you can treasure, tri, you can treasure it. You can just treasure it to run. <laughs> I'm, I'm now rambling and it's been 90 seconds. So I'm gonna let Kyle uh, demonstrate that and we'll have that live for you uh, shortly. So we got quite the update with making it easier, I guess, all around to make things happen um, with APIs. So recording your automations is always a very easy way to go about things, but there's situations where um, APIs are better and there's situations when recording is better. So we don't wanna completely ignore the fact that APIs uh, can be extremely beneficial, which is why we added the whole uh, apps builder to the app. But instead of relying on always having a webhook or always using the webhook to send it to us, um, we added all of the triggers from the app side into the builder so that you can use them directly inside your automation. So with something like Airtable, for example, I can set this up, I can set up my trigger just like I do in apps. Um, everything is connected the same. I'm setting up my connections here. We're adding our, I, I think it's an API key, personal token, whatever they call it, um, on Airtable side to connect our bases, connect our tables, and uh, do whatever we want to do inside the app. So this is an example of from Twitter, I can have something being created. Uh, so this is coming from whatever table I have, whatever data is coming from this table um, can also be used inside my app. So I'm not going to go through the testing process really quick, um, but we're able to set that up. We can use Airtable, ClickUp, Google Drive, whatever we're trying to do and then use that data inside the automation. So the same way you set up your webhook triggers, your webhook variables um, are coming in to be used in your step. So that can be what's coming up with the post content, the image content, things like that. And then finally, what we can do is we could, for example, add a screenshot step, um, do whatever we wanna do with that screenshot step, and then we could add a Google Drive step to take a screenshot of the tweet that we posted and upload that to our Google Drive, for example. So some really cool features being added here um, that are really letting you bridge the gap between when RPA is better and when APIs are better. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are excited for. Let me know what apps you guys are wanting inside here. Let me know what triggers and actions um, you guys are missing, what you need. Uh, all of those can go to the feature requests or I guess in the YouTube comments as well. Uh, let us know what you guys want to build with this.